is CGTN, China Global Television Network. There's a murder every hour. Jackings like every 10, 15 minutes. Slowly but surely, that we are losing this battle. Yeah, they shoot every minute of the day. We have to stand up together, do something for ourselves. We will keep on fighting. We're not going to give up. Too many young people are dying on our streets. Where is it going to stop? When is the killings going to stop? Why don't we join hands with the police? <笑>我昨天回来吧，就是说昨天中午到，我就是想说，就是我刚刚最近的一些情况，我不在的时候，呃，请你走一段时间。对对对对，你们啊、呃，我记得就参加那个呃，前天的跟公公安部的一个活动嘛。嗯，我们也来了将近五十，将近五十人嘛。嗯，那就主要是警察，还有什么的。我们这次就是说操操的比较急。然后就是就说主要都是我们的华龙啊，跟消费者协会这这这两个单位，我们要要每一年都给他追追踪好啊，这些单位都啊邀请他们到啊，对对对，应该应该我们都应该要要这样做啊，弄一个承前启后的，就是说类似于总结一下今年的工作，没没没错没错，因为早晚我们要往上调一是是是，报告，对对，这个要要弄好了，没了没了，没了好，好。那你这个拿拿到拿拿上去。哎，二零。哎，你好，你好，啊，你好，那个昨天呢，就在你在那个区里面发的那个那几张照片，你是从哪里得得来的？是警察警察给我的警察，啊，昨天晚上又抢了一个索马里的店铺，那个被被警察开枪了嘛，住了一家，歹徒住了一家。哦，昨天晚上、啊，哦，昨天还抓了四个人，嗯、那是不是这四个人呢？他昨天中午，昨天下午告诉我注意这四个人嘛。哦，哦那就抓到了，就是。要报警，都注意了。哦哦，那那要抓，那那挺那那挺好的，对吧？那那那那边的警察方就效率提高了。是啊，所以还还是得注意安全。好，安全最重要。好，注意安全，注意安全，注意安全，拜拜。谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，好，好，好，咱们再联系吧。啊，好，再见。I'm just trying to find a hard board I can use. Maybe here. It'd be much better this one. This is a good idea. Put it here. In the Western Cape, in this province, we have a lot of Chinese business people or the Chinese community. They residing in different areas. So basically, at this stage, we have a 13 big group of Chinese communities. In this one area, and we choose two people. In total times two, you have 26 people. And you create a WeChat groups. It's only for the mere purpose of crime prevention. 
for instance, some of the group they sending out say, listen, these days we have this car always looking around in our area, looks suspicious. And they will tell you what number of the registration number and what color the car will be. And then they're going to send this information to here. This is like intermediate levels. This information will be um, concluded by the decision making level. So immediately there will be a message saying, listen, everybody must be careful. You know, there's people trying to target in the Chinese business uh, people. So this is a good idea to gather information in the Chinese community. And then the Chinese CPF merged with the local PF, the CPF, which means we can utilize much more and much bigger uh, network with the local CPF. The time when we arrive at the first place, you don't have so many com uh, Chinese community uh, or association in Cape Town. So we've been through those times and those years that we become the vulnerable victims and we become hope helpless. I mean, we don't have uh, so many people can provide uh, assistance to us. So that is most of the time the motivation behind the Chinese CPF. So that's why I always try to use my uh, personal contact or my knowledge to educate or to helping the community. Tinghang 就在这个隔壁那个离我这个店在过去一条街然后后面就慢慢就开了两家我爸爸我妈妈还有我的丈母娘跟我岳父所以说这还有三个小孩子家里一大堆人靠着我们去养所以说我们也在一直也很担心自己的安全的问题 OK 2009 we had xenophobia and the attack was on our foreign nationalists and for us to showcase in our communities that we have a relationship irrespective of which country you come from there is a relationship at the local level and that is what we're trying to portray here um, to, to other communities so that they can know they are part of our communities I'm going to speak to the Chinese delegation CP is um, here um, so that because they have actually asked me do the other provinces make use of the Chinese community that side there is that relationship that we have now for the past two to three years now with them and whenever we call on them um, they are there for us in 
the apartheid era, we were classified. You have your white people, you have your black, African black people, and we were called coloreds, which is basically your Khoisan. Mitchell's Plain is that largest community where these people are living as coloured communities. They see themselves as Khoisan, I see myself as a South African citizen and not a, a black South African or a coloured South African. Besides being an official of government, um, I'm a community activist and I've been doing this for more than 30 years within my community and um, for me it's about building relationships. For me it's about understanding other people's culture so that I can educate our community about cult different cultures and that is for me important. Both bridging that gap between us and them but making it a collective thing. I think we can make a change, we can make a difference. Um, I believe my, my motto in life is you are never too bad to become good and you're never too good to become bad. And what, if I can change one person's life, I've done something. Oh, they're fighting there. Ah, it is. Ah, it is. This policeman. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, no, no. Hey, hey. You call the police, no, you don't assault. No, you call no, the police. This. I'm now, Where you, get this? you call the police. Yeah. Must call I'm the police, please. Now. Yes, what? He stole. He moved wait, me. Wait, wait. Yeah. wait. What can you do? Where is that? What can you do? Where is that? There's no one I am no the police. Okay. I'm telling I'm you, you call the police, okay. you don't assault. Okay. Please call the police, okay. you don't assault. Okay. You got the suspect, you call the police Thank now. You, you Where's my phone? Baby. The shop owner. Where is he? Yeah. Are you the shop owner? You see, you, you will have to call the police. Where is he? He's sitting there, but you will have to call the police because nobody has the right to assault the next person, irrespective if the person was wrong. So you will have to call the police now, so that the police can, can deal with the matter. Auntie, but nobody has the right Auntie, listen to here. We were standing by this car, so he did tell okay, me. Wait. So he did tell me yeah. I must go get no, water by the shop. Okay. So yeah. I was watching him the whole what time. time so, so, so I said, oh, please come here, let you can be my witness. So I see him. So we said, And so we did all the timing. And, and so we did timing. Yeah, and so we did timing. Yeah. And so we did running. So I said, yay. So you're going to tell the police that? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you mustn't Everybody steal from the shop. The community because you steal. Don't come to the community and steal. Yeah. It's not the people from the shop. Don't steal. The from the come shop. here. What is your name? Kumi. What is your name? Huh? Karim. Say sorry, ya. Yeah. Say sorry. I was not even there. Sorry, ya. I was yeah. not there. Yeah, we leave you, but don't, don't come and steal because in the shop, we lose only like 20,000 pieces already outside. Mm -hmm. We are in trouble to pay back that money. Uh -huh. So don't steal. The community is angry, but we don't want thief. We must try to be normal. Uh -huh. Yeah, you ask. You see what I'm saying? If he's hungry, you can ask rather, yeah, but don't steal. Karim, you can ask him. 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 Okay. Okay, man. So that's my life. <laughs> that is my life. Mitchell's Plain, Cape Flats area, is, has a huge problem with gangsterism. Huge problem. It's, it's a plague. Uh, if CPF didn't exist, they'd have to be, they'd have to be invented because it is, the, it is the body that brings the community together. Currently, 
we average about 370 arrests a station a month. Um, and of that 370 arrests, the largest percentage is actually done by, the, by members of the community on the street, the, the armed response, response companies, companies or the neighborhood watchers, who actually are the first people to detain perpetrators of street robberies, uh, house burglaries, etc. Without them, those arrests wouldn't happen. Those perpetrators would go free because SAPS is so under-resourced that they cannot get there uh, and be in every place. They can't be in as many places as, we, as, for instance, the neighborhood watch members. Our detective unit is chronically under-resourced. We have an allocation of 44. We've actually got 19. And we should have an allocation of 16 vehicles for them. We've got six working vehicles. Um, it makes it extremely difficult. And it puts a huge burden on the community to actually um, fill that gap. As far as I know, the local people lacks the SPF because that's a very effective way to prevent crime from happening. We always believe that prevention is the best thing to protect yourself. Everything based on the people's uh, warm heart because at the end of the day the police force is limited and so we have to uh, stand up together do something by ourselves you can't just rely on the police they have only re limited resources even the uh, Chinese community in Cape Town or in any other side of the world that we have to uh, stand up together you know helping each other to look after each other Come here. This is lions. You must see it on TV, <laughs> especially when uh, the people celebrate the Chinese New Year. I think this is kind of unique culture. Can keep your special identity, especially when you being in another country. You must carry out your own culture. It is a challenge and it's also a commitment because uh, most people when they go abroad to uh, do business, keep you survive, that's number one priorities. But these people, they made a great contribution, sacrifice lots of times just to carry the identity of your, where you come from. <laughs> <laughs> the team spirit can link everybody together. I always be proud of the structure of the Cape Town Chinese CPF. It's very effective and cost almost like nothing, but it's a very effective way to helping each other to strengthen the relationship among all of them. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, ladies. How's it? This is the Turbo View Neighborhood Watch Control Room, which has a very important function. It actually uh, controls the movements of normally about 200 active controllers at the time. What will we do without it? I don't know. As an incident happens, say you will radio and it says there is a 14 Bravo or a 14 Alpha. Now, 14 Alpha is a break in. A Progress. alpha means it's happening, it's busy happening, so the person could be inside the premises. It's all about getting the correct information and getting it out as fast as possible. 
this book it's exactly the same books as what the police use in other words every single crime or potential crime or whatever you are, are in contact, contact with we write in here but basically this is what happens in a neighbor watch we are not an armed response company a lot of people have got this misconception that we ramble we run around with guns and we go ballistic no we are eyes and ears we report what is going on and if anything happens out there people will phone or radio in and then i know how to act accordingly This is the place in 2013 when there was a protest arise from the farm workers. They demand more payment from the employers. And later on, it was protest. And then uh, there's a big impact on the business community. They approached the Chinese CPF. And thereafter, the Chinese PF approached the Chinese consulate. Together, we get hold of Minister Dan Plato. And the police arrived at the scene. At that stage, we have 45 Chinese nationals in the small town. So they escort the 45 Chinese people to another place. Okay, even this, um, Rolling doors has been already left and damaged by the people. They were in the protest. So that means everybody is in danger in this house. yeah Hi, how are you, Minister? Good. Uh, how are you? Good afternoon. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you for coming. Pleasure. On behalf of the Chinese community in Gidorans, we would like to say thank you so much for the minister to come to visit the Chinese community in Gidorans. And you are the one uh, helping the Chinese community in the Western Cape, especially in Gidorans. And everybody can't forget what happened in 2013 when there was a xenophobia protest. So when the Chinese community in trouble, and you were the one called the police, arrived at the scene and rescued 45 Chinese nationals out of trouble. So you are the lifesaver in the community of the Dorans for the Chinese community. So those are the five owners of the uh, business. So I want to see, beside of appreciation, what else they want to say. <laughs> Any trouble arise in, in, in this area? Okay, there was a small uh, chaos 
I think last month. It's almost like another protest. One of the local uh, shops had been ruled by the protesters. Yeah. And then they don't understand why this peer person steal things from me. I caught him. Then they end up in trouble, and the police do nothing to the thief. But they also mentioned that they wish the police can have more, uh, can can play more roles. So they feel that it's almost like if the police can do something more, at least send a strong message to the community that don't steal. It's, but now it's almost like a, uh, you can steal, nothing will happen to you. Mm. There must be a consequence. Mm -hmm. Local CPF in each and every town, once a month, they have a meeting with the police management. You must just one day walk to his police station and mm -hmm. talk to Colonel Vermeulen. He said he phoned the police at 8 o'clock and the police only arrived half past 11. That's why we need to join the CPF. We have to raise our voice on the CPF meeting. Otherwise, nobody knows what's happening. I will talk to Colonel for me. He will talk to the chief minister. 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 He will talk to the and I believe that we also be, need to be actively involved in the safety and the security. We can't just rely on, rely on the police, and we can't just rely on the minister. We also need depends on our, our own input. Okay. So, that thank you so much. Very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thanks. Yeah, 要让小涛受到惩罚我们自己又没有什么事情就是这样子所以我这种效果挺好的就是因为他平常他自己也缺乏了这些没这个意思对对对没有意思好热呀基本上的时间都是奉献给乔瑟的我的生意我已经都不管了这个生意奉献给乔瑟了哎呀没办法不过一样就是说有的时候这个东西就像养一个小孩似的你看在逐渐一步步成长对你来说一个欣慰一晃